Farmers in California, they're losing their land, their crops, and their livelihood, all because of a two-inch fish. Ainsley Earhart brings us this special investigation. California's Central Valley is considered by many to be the richest and most productive farmland in the nation. But this land is being threatened by the small, harmless-looking minnow called the Delta Smelt. Recently, it has landed on the endangered species list, prompting a federal court to shut down vital pumps to farmers to help preserve it. So this is the pumping station, and it's pumped out of the delta here and brought into this canal system that makes its way, and there's actually two that um, mm -hmm. go along together. Sarah Wolf is a spokesperson for the Westlands Water District, a company that oversees the man-made complicated water delivery system in the Central Valley. How many years has this been the process? Um, it was completed in 1968. Okay, so, so decades. Yes. All the farmers along all this land, mm -hmm. two-thirds of the state of California, have depended on water yes. to grow their crops. But the water's turned off here, so none of these farmers can expect to get any water. That's correct. Two years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do this. This was a canal full of gushing water, irrigating the farmland here in the San Joaquin Valley. But as you can see, it is all dried up. The pumps were turned off after environmentalists won a federal court case. But at least one lawmaker in Washington is fighting back. You're spending $1 trillion, and you won't put in one provision that would create, save 60,000 jobs this is an insult to my constituents. What we have today is a man-made drought brought on by laws passed by Congress to where we're taking the breadbasket of the world and starving it of water to save little fish, which is outrageous. Green groups claim the smelt are critical to the Delta's ecosystem. And if the Delta's fragile ecosystem were to fail, so would the state's main water source. If we allow the Delta to become polluted or to uh, lose the, the or, or for the health of that ecosystem to collapse, we lose the supply of water for 23 million people. But this argument offers little solace to farmers who have watched their land go from this to this. This is our lifeline and uh, you know it was a promise by the government. We've kept our word. A lot of us feel that uh, this Congress has reneged on their agreements and their, on their promises. Cole Upton is a third generation almond farmer here and he argues that the American consumer should get ready for produce prices to soar and food scares to become a common occurrence. Very simply I would say do you want to depend for your food supply on a foreign country? If you think you have problems now with salmonella and trying to find out what part of the United States it came from, think of the problem if you have a food scare and your food is being imported from South America or China or somewhere. Representative Nunes estimates that 37,000 jobs have been lost due to the smelt issue, and that number is rising higher by the day. And in one town, Mendota, California, unemployment is up to an astonishing 40 percent. You said, I can see the tears in your eyes. I'll cry. This doesn't make me happy. Mommy, mommy. What's going Nobody wants mind. this. I want a job. We don't have water, we don't have jobs. And stressful. Yeah, it hurts. No one likes that hand out. Joining us now is our own Ainsley Earhart. All right, I, I can't believe this. Because of this little fish, as many as 80,000 people are going to lose jobs. They're shutting off water for farms that have been there for what, generations? Generations, third generation farmers, Sean. Their grandfathers were, were out there, blood, sweat, and tears to making sure those crops were going to grow. So you and I would have fruits and vegetables, and they're yeah. shutting it down because they think that the minnow could get caught or does get caught in the pumps. So now they're pumping the water out into the Pacific Ocean instead of streaming it down to the farmers who live in the valley. And they're all losing their jobs they're and They're all losing their jobs. We're talking about, Representative Nunes says up to 80,000 jobs could be lost. So we're talking about lots of jobs. We went to the food bank. The line was wrapped around the block because people don't have food. And all they got to do is turn the water back on. Right. That's all they That's have to crazy. do. And you know what? Now yeah. we're going to have to get our fruits and vegetables from other countries, from Mexico and yeah. from elsewhere. Oh, might as well we get our oil and everything else. I'll tell you, this is madness. This is madness. It's okay, fish great versus family. It really they're is. choosing the fish. They're choosing the fish. Yeah. Two-inch fish. Two-inch minnow. Didn't use to fish with the minnows. Oh. It was bait fish. Exactly. Yeah.